Greetings, ducklings. Oh, but what is this? It's not Friday yet. What am I doing here? Just a little experiment. Five short videos every day this week to celebrate some badass death women who came before us. And a good women's history month to you, my friend. To kick off the week, we begin with the first female funeral homeowner in America, something near and dear to my heart, who is also the first black female funeral homeowner in America, Henrietta Smith Bowers Dutier. Born to a free family in Philadelphia in 1817, Dutier married a coffin maker and mortician, Francis Dutier, in 1852. By 1858, Henrietta was widowed, but not time for retirement. Oh no, Henrietta boldly went where no woman had gone before and took over her husband's business. What's more, bucking the gender norms of the time, she conducted business under her own name, which wasn't Bob, it was Henrietta. Henrietta was noted for being prompt in her business affairs and accommodating to all, rich or poor. She provided funeral services to customers both black and white. You can have your corpse buried, it don't matter if you're black or white. Shovel, shovel, shovel. Through the success of the funeral home, Henrietta was able to fund organizations in the Black community, such as the Stephen Smith Home for the Aged and Infirm and the Freedmen's Aid Society Fair, an organization she co-created that helped freed slaves in Tennessee. But her activism didn't end there. A staunch abolitionist, Dutier was an agent of the Underground Railroad. Apparently she hid runaway slaves in coffins and ushered them through the city, disguised as part of a funeral procession. Dutier died in 1903. Reportedly, she was working on the body of a young man just two days before her death. And that devotion to the rights of people both living and dead is why we salute Henrietta Smith Bowers Dutier, badass businesswoman in death history. This video was made with generous donations from death enthusiasts just like you. Shovel, shovel, shovel.